guys, and welcome back to Cue the Confetti. Today we're in the kitchen, and what are we doing today, Gentry? We're gonna make thunder cake. That's right, if you read the book with us, Thunder Cake, then you know that the grandmother and the daughter make a special cake to help her feel safe from the storm. If you have not read that book, you need to click the link above or below and read that book with us, and then you'll understand why we're making this crazy cake. All the ingredients that you will need. Two and a half cups of cake flour sifted. I have a trick that I'll tell you about later if you don't have cake flour. In here is also a teaspoon of salt, um, a half a cup of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And then the other things you'll need are? A cold cup of water, egg yolks. How many? Three. Three eggs separated. And two bars of butter. A cup of butter or a cup of shortening is what the recipe actually calls for, but we do not have shortening. And tomato puree. That's the secret ingredient. A third of a cup of tomato puree. And sugar. One and three fourths cup of sugar. And vanilla extract. Correct. All right, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is take your cup of shortening your butter and it must be softened and you're going to put your sugar in and cream them together. Good job, Gentry. I'm gonna stick them on the lock them into place. And now you're gonna turn it on the lowest setting. Turn it a little higher once it gets adjusted. Perfect. Keep it at that setting. We're creaming that butter. Oh, it is perfectly creamed, Gentry. Good job. Now we gotta watch what we're doing because we don't want to overbeat our eggs. We are going to mix in the vanilla and the egg yolks. I'm gonna do the vanilla, you do the egg yolks. All right, we've got three egg yolks going in. One, one, two, no, three. All right, she's got the egg yolks and I've got the egg whites and I'm going to get ready while she is mixing in the egg yolks. I'm going to get ready to stiffen these egg whites. And what okay, number should it, I do it to? Do you always, did you lock it? Oh. And always go slow, especially when you're beating eggs. Oh, you can go a little higher. Make sure it makes them real good. And then the next thing you're going to do is mix in our secret ingredient, which sounds weird, right? Pureed tomatoes. Smell it, smell it first. It smells great. Put that in. And a cup of cold water. Really kind of looks weird, huh? Yeah. But I'm it's supposed to be that. amazing. We're well, making cupcakes, by the way. This is a cake recipe, but we're making cupcakes. If you have multiple children at home, that makes it a lot easier to decorate. <laughs> It's always something in the kitchen. That does not look good. But we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna fold so this that, guy in. So I think that what's supposed to happen? Maybe. Guess as good as mine. We always do these the first take, just like you do at home. It kind of looks like vomit in the bowl. It says fold in the egg whites, which is what we're doing. I did not miss a step, right? I don't know. Okay, here I we go. I think we just have to hand that to we're folding in the egg whites into the vomit. <laughs> something. It's solidifying a little. It's it's something. It's something. You you don't you don't call it vomit. You call it something. Oh, is vomit not appetizing? No. Or what does it look like? It looks like something. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix in the uh, 
dry ingredients. This is all of our dry ingredients. We sifted it. We did not have cake flour. So we used all-purpose flour. We took out two tablespoons per cup and added in cornstarch, a tablespoon, two tablespoons of cornstarch per cup. I know you belong to somebody new. I can't hold anything. in the oven at 350. I'm gonna do 20 minutes and see what All right, so we've made our cupcakes. Look how beautiful they turned out. And she made a cake all by herself. This made 12 cupcakes. I bet you could get 24. Maybe not exactly 24, I bet 18. Uh, but I also made like a little eight inch cake. So Gentry is going to decorate with some buttercream, chocolate buttercream frosting, which we actually bought. We did not make it because no. We're done with the cooking. And um, while she's decorating, I want to ask you a few questions. Go ahead, Gentry, start start icing and, first. And on top we have... Exactly, strawberries on top, which yeah. is just like in the book. Are you getting a little nervous to try it? It's yes. got tomato in it. Yes. And when we were mixing the tomato and the butter together, did it smell good? No. So we'll see how this But works. it smells good now. Yeah, it does. It does. I'm scared and excited. You're scared and excited? That's how I feel when thunderstorms are on the horizon. Like we have today, it's kind of a gray, yucky looking day, doesn't, isn't or it? Or it's just cloudy. It could just be cloudy, but it's kind of stormy cloudy looking. Or do you ever get nervous or excited with thunderstorms? Mm, yeah. Meh. You sleep right through them, don't you? Yeah, I don't hear anything when I sleep. What about when we moved to Oklahoma and the first time that there was a tornado siren? I didn't hear it. What do we do if there's a tornado? We go into the laundry room. We go into the laundry room. Gentry has her bike helmet to keep her safe. And a little mattress. Yes, my mattress. Just in case, we haven't had to use them yet. Nope. Only the sirens go in different places. But how'd you feel when the siren happened? Oh, I remember last summer when, when my cousin came over and I was like crying when the tornado came. And I wasn't even asleep yet. No, it was during dinner time, wasn't it? We ate dinner in the laundry room, didn't we? Yeah, but I I was I was too scared to eat. Yeah. So I didn't eat anything. But it didn't hit us. Yeah. But it's always good to be safe. to try it okay let's try the cupcake I'm gonna cut it right down the middle let's see how it tastes why'd you just make that first face because <laughs> first face it was gross kind of can you taste the tomato no. I always like to make my cupcakes into sandwiches. This one was kind of a difficult one, but it is delicious. We hope that you try this one out. If you do, please tag us on Instagram and Facebook with your creations at Cue the Confetti Kalina. Please help us by liking and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to celebrate today.